Hello. Um, Chilane Brawl deck. Um, it's supposed to be chaining creatures together, ramping, and just going off in one big turn. <sighs> Sorry, I just got my groceries delivered, and I was in the middle of a video, and I was contemplating trying to go through with it, but I was like getting up and leaving and um, putting things away. And then when I finished the game, I just got destroyed. So I'm just going to cut that one. <laughs> um, tried to keep the curve low. Just so if we play Chilean like a little later, maybe sneak in a one drop, just get a little bit of value off of it before our opponent removes it because that happens a lot and it feels really bad. Because before we get going, it's, uh, it's really just super detrimental to have Chilean get removed. Um, before we get any mana out there, extra mana. So, um, some cool interactions. Felt our retreat, and then um, Yasharn grabbing us extra lands for like if an Azusa's out or Dryad. Obviously, Scoot Swarm. I don't. I don't know if I've played a game with Scoot Swarm where I went off. Um, Vasa is kind of cool blinking Yasharn. There's a lot of ETBs. Um, haven't gotten a chance to go off with Nyx Bloom Ancient yet, but we'll see if we can maybe get something going with that. Um, it's pretty fun. It's just a little nerve-wracking when you don't have protection for Chilene. Um Because that's what the deck revolves heavily around. So We'll give it a try. Play a couple games. I think I should probably run um, Euro also. I just don't think I have a copy. I, I should check. Dugongs. That a that's a Pokemon, isn't it? Hmm. No blue mana for the only play that we really have early. Um, I guess we can play the Mammoth at some point. I'll keep it. Could have been bad. Let's see. We'll play. The, we'll start with the forest. That way, if we draw land, we can save the shelter. Oh, the witch's oven. Okay, let's play the shelter now. Because the pathway will come in untapped, and then we can play the mammoth next turn at least. Just to have something on the board. The Piper. We run the Piper in the... Uh, IR deck. This is a Veto deck. Don't love Veto. Maybe we can pressure him a little bit next turn. We at least have a definite land drop. No reason to play Thassa yet. The next turn, maybe it's a uh, Feldar retreat. Opponent in the tank, trying to figure out if they want to play Veto. It's probably. Oh. Okay. Yep. Another land. Where we should get Thassa out? We don't have a lot of. Oh, we can't. We don't have blue. Okay, let's play Feldar Retreat. Next turn, we'll poop out a 2 2. <coughs> Maybe draw a blue source. But see, this is where I, this matchup against Mono Black, where they run a lot of removal. Probably don't want to run Chile now until we know we have a, uh, some kind of protection. And we do have Karametra's Blessing in hand, so 
I feel like Chilean probably won't come down until we have six mana. Still no blue mana. It's kind of bad. So we'll make a 2-2. Two -two. And then for our turn, I guess we uh, crawl activate Crawling Barons, put some counters on it. We could also use it to block. Just could walk into a removal spell if we do it that way. At least we have another, um... Okay. It's like a mono black clerics. Heartless act in the bin. Pass, let's see if they attack. They have two mana open. I already played a Heartless Act. There's the two, two drop um, removal spells that is on what mana cost or power. Only one of them is an instant. They're not even attacking. Let's just uh, put two counters on Crawling Barons and decline to make it a creature. And honestly, it's it's it kind of sucks, but that might be our next turn also, unless we draw action or a blue source. Okay, so we'll drop the land. Get another 2-2. Two, two. No attacks. Pass. Feels bad. I guess I could have attacked with Crawling Barons, but... We'll just keep building it up. Opponent doing things. But they're down to two cards. Blue Source would be fantastic. Gotta be some attacks here. Just the Flyer. Okay. I don't think we can do anything about that. Attack the Crawling Barons again. <clears throat> no, no action. Opponent, one card in hand. Okay, some ramp. That adds one mana of any color, at least. This in the land drop. I think we need to fix the mana base a little bit, maybe after this. Because I feel like I always struggle with blue mana for some reason. Uh, no. They're going to be able to take control of something. They might be able to take control of Chilane if we don't get rid of that thing. Well, we can hold up the Blessing if they try to do that. Nice. I feel like I never see that card played, and I always think about doing it, but I never do, for some reason. Yep, two in the air. Auto Tapper decided we don't need our Crawling Barons. <laughs> I guess I couldn't have activated it with what I had anyway. Hmm. Man, that is rough. Do we protect it? I feel like that's that's kind of a waste, right? I think we want the protection for Blaine, damn. I think we're out of luck. This is really bad. No attacks. End turn. Oh, uh... 
Did it not let us activate Crawling Barons last time? Oh god, now we have the stupid cat loop. Uh, I'm gonna... F I'm gonna do this. Let's, let's start over. I'm gonna take a quick peek at that mana base. Man, I might throw I might throw some temples in there, honestly. I think that might help a little bit. Maybe that's a mistake. I'm not really sure. <clears throat> see. Here. Ooh. Do that. Let's just try that. Okay, here we go. Maybe the temples will help us earlier on in um, fixing our colors. I don't really like the how slow they are, but slow as opposed to not even be able to not even being able to execute your plan is probably fine. No, I'm gonna free Mulligan. This is a little better. I like having the selfless selfless savior or uh, all seed turn one is nice. We actually have a decent curve. Let's get our green source, play the carroted. Cultivate. I wonder if we should run cultivate. Probably should. Honestly. Uh, yeah. Let's get our... Now we're cooking. Next turn, we play Chilane, and we can protect it. I don't think I'm familiar with this. Is this... Okay, this is a kicker, Commander. Here's your X is three... There's a battlefield with a counter on it for each mana spent to cast it. When you cast a kicked spell, here, move two counters and it copies it. Okay. Scary. Um, maybe I should have exiled that. But, I mean, at least we have protection. We have protection for Chilean. What is this? I can't see what it is. Damn. crazy. Alright, um, what do we want to do? Do we just start? Let's 
Start introducing a bunch of threats. No tax. Alright, so we have a little bit of life gain, gain to uh, counter- Oh, Jesus. Oh, man, that sucks. Yeah, I don't think we can do much about that. Man. Okay, that's fine. We can exile uh, Ugin next turn. That's fine. We still have Chalene. My greatest creation. Get rid of that. Endings are inevitable. Let's get a little one one. And pass. Still twenty eight life. Not terrible. Played through an Ugin. Things could be worse. And we still have a little bit of protection for Chilane if need be. Yeah, we're gonna... Oh. They're trying to bounce it. That's annoying. That's annoying as hell. One turn away from getting the mirror shield on it. Just do what you gotta do. <clears throat> Scries two to the top. Gilded Goose. Jam in with the Flyers. And the Commander. We don't want to we don't want to block that because we don't want them to be able to play it again. I'll take the one damage from it. Ugh. How can I play this? I don't understand how I can play that. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. No attacks. I didn't want to go all in on the Ancient or Chilean, because if they could, if they had any kind of interaction, it's just a wasted turn. So at least we got a couple things out there. Oh, the Mirror Shield's gone. Or Elspeth, because we could have a Scoot Swarm coming back. They probably don't want that. Yeah, that's fair. Kind of fine with me, honestly. I mean, Scoot Swarm would have been cool, but... Yep, they outvalue us. We don't have anything to deal with these flyers. How does that work? It enters and dies? And then next turn they can... Yeah, okay. Okay, Chilane. And then, then protect it. And then we died flyers. Right?
skills. Oh man. Time to improvise. Yeah, we're toast. <laughs> okay, let's just see how much we can go off. Yeah, I should wait just in case we hit a landfall thing. I don't, I don't know if it really matters. Don't worry, I'll think of something. Okay, crack this for uh, green. It has to be green, right? Then play the dryad. Play this. I think that's the end of our, our line here. Can't do anything about the flyers. Artos. GG. GG, and let's get out of here. We'll play one more. Maybe we'll win one. It's weird because, like, the first, like, four or five games I played with this deck, I won all of those games, and then I haven't won one since. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting worse. Maybe I was just lucky. Or maybe I messed the deck up. We'll see. I don't really know what happened that game. I guess the, the Flyers really kind of killed us. If we could have gotten out like a... Like a gem razor or something, the game probably would have been totally different. Because we could have at least blocked a Flyer each time they came in. Um, man, this would be nice if we had, like, um, um, one of those, like, flip white lands or something. This is kind of iffy. It's free mulligan. This is a little better. At least we have some early plays. Excuse me. Not sure what we start with. I guess Gilded Goose. <laughs> it's a decent opening hand, actually. Um, next turn, Dryad. Ramping pretty nice. We have two ramp sources that tap for man of any color. Next turn, we have a, a land that enters tapped is the only problem. If we draw into an untapped land, we can play Chilean. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Then we can't do anything with it. They're playing control. This is going to be a nightmare. Okay, they're they're getting their ramp on. Here's our untapped source. Play Shia. Kind of preserves some of our mana, right? Because creatures tap for mana. We got a big body. And if they deal with it, we still have some plays. We could play Felidar Retreat next turn and then proc it with... Alright, we won one. We're the best. That's really... I mean... 
I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, should we count that as a game? Probably not. <clears throat> Let's do one more. I mean, that was an awesome start. And we had a couple options. I mean, I think that's... I don't think we've had a start like that with that deck. Turbo slow. That's, uh, that's an oxymoron, my friend. Sorry. Hmm. I think I want to keep this, but do we crack the Fabled Passage for white or blue? Because we probably want to do that turn one. I guess let's do blue. Just because then we have more, it opens up more of our hand. Well, now we can play this and crack the Fable Passage for white. I like that. Maybe I should have Fable Passage first. But Fable Passage has the uh, possibility of entering untapped later. Um, let's see. Let's get our Cobra. Next turn we can play Gem Razor. Blow up their Signet. Rolling Regrowth. Hmm. Let's get our third color. Lotus Cobra will produce a green. We'll gem razor. Mutate it onto the Cobra. And target the Signet. Put him a step back. <clears throat> and then we can jam in for four. Seems pretty good. We're looking okay. Next turn we have a land drop. And we can play Shia. Or Chilane. There are five color decks, so I don't know what their removal looks like. Seems like they're still trying to build. Maybe we can get it underneath. The only thing that would kind of suck is if they board wipe us. Here's Jelaine. Bam. Next turn, maybe we'll start off with the Pixie. See if we can draw into another cheap creature, chain a couple things. Wicked Wolf. All right, how do we get rid of Kenrith? We Vanishing Light probably, right? Let's see what happens here. Get rid of Kenrith. We know how how low of a blow that is when we lose our five drop commander, so. And then we keep banishing light for something that might be a little more difficult to deal with. Let's jam in. And then we can crack the fabled passage later. I'm thinking maybe green. We have two cards in our hand with double green. Hmm. Wonder what they're gonna hit. You got a good head on those shoulders. Interesting. Now. Okay. I kind of felt like they were gonna do that. We are the so, for a turn crack for a forest. 
And then we can Banishing Light Garrick. Hmm, maybe we should have waited to crack that. Oops. Let's just do this. Let's just get this out of the way. Get rid of that. I didn't like you anyway. And then let's play Scoot Swarm because they need to deal with that. <laughs> Let's jam in. They would probably double jo double block gem razor, right? Then they don't have anything. Let's cancel attacks. That could have been a mistake. I'm not really sure. I just feel like Lotus Cobra is really, really big right now. Wow. Bombs. Holy shit. Sorry, Dennis. Wow. Um, be really nice to hit a land drop, but we have some small creatures we can try and... Alright, so maybe... Hmm. I think... We want a Shia. We're not gonna attack. Let's let's try and go off. Can we do that right now? Put a card on the battlefield. Okay, so we get a copy of Scoot Swarm. Yeah, this this might be pretty good. Green. Okay. Then Yeah. This is disgusting. <laughs> Counter on everything. Wow. Bite one of these. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yo. Finally. Alright, at least this deck is doing what it's supposed to. This is fantastic. Put those loyalty counters on there. <laughs> Yikes. Damn, I should have made a white. Alright, are they gonna board wipe? Honestly, they board wipe. I think we're we're just kind of screwed. <laughs> Damn, I really wish I made a white. I could have played self, selfless savior, and at least had uh, protection for Chilean, and kept going off. <laughs> I feel like they have to have an answer. They have all that gas in their hand. Okay. They have to. Oh man. <laughs> Oof. Okay. That hurts. That hurts. Is that all of our mana? Damn. Okay. So what do we do here? Let's... Do this. This. And this. Just to put some pressure on them. We still have uh, easy ways to proc. Um, Chilean. And protection on the board for Chilean next turn. Because I didn't want to run it out and then just get it removed again. But there's still pressure on them. I, do we have, lethal? we have lethal right now? Okay, that's fine. Might be able to go off again next turn. Probably not as as well as we did before, but man, if I would have just picked white instead of green. Okay, let's see. Play land. Play 
Damn it. <laughs> Let's go wide. Nah. Jelaine. Uh, giant killer. Nice. So we have some protection. Jam in. No, there's no point. Feels bad. Because they have so much mana now. Uh, big misplay on my part. But. Okay, let's see. What do we want to keep around here? I think we want to sacrifice this and give Chilean indestructible. And then we want to... Wait to see what their response is. <laughs> Probably save the Lovestruck Beast if possible. Or... The Lovestruck Beast. <laughs> they lose the retreat. They get... Mm, they get Garrick back. We were born for the hunt. Wait, what the hell? I thought Karametra's blessing gave a. Oh, if it's an enchant. Oh shit! Why am I running that card? GG Turbo Slow, you did it. I made a big misplay. Come on. Land. Land. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Just seeing if we can hit anything. I don't I don't know if there's anything that will save us right now. Negative. Good game. See ya. Alright. Maybe they were gonna let us draw. <laughs> Deck needs some work, but at least there was a moment where you could kind of see what where I was going with it. Um, need somebody play, piloting the deck that knows what they're doing. <laughs> um, and there's there's some silly cards in there that need to be um, addressed, like Karametra's Blessing. That doesn't belong in there. Um, I'm going to look over the deck and try and um, justify each card and see why they're in there. What makes sense to pull? See if I can try and get a mythic wild card for uh, Euro, because I feel like that's just solid. So, we'll see. Till next time.